Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part 52, lesson 51, of the Illumined Faith, Mystical Interpretation of the Gospel of St. John by Ars Winburn Clymer. Lesson 51. When we obey the divine law, we will be able to manifest the works of the Father. As we manifest the Father, so will we draw others into us, that we may teach them the law and help them to become free from sin. And as they become free from evil, they will know the Father. St. John chapter 21, 1 through 25. 1. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, and on this wise showed he himself. 2. There were together Simon Peter and Thomas they called Didymus, and Nathanael of Cana in Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, and two other of his disciples. 3. Simon Peter said unto them, I go a fishing. They say unto him, we also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. 4. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. 5. Then Jesus saith unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. 6. And he said unto them, Cast the nets on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. He who tries to accomplish anything without considering the divine law may succeed for a time, but his success is not lasting. But if he works in harmony with the divine law, then he will find lasting success. 7. Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved saith unto Peter, it is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girt his fisher's coat unto him, for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. 8. And the other disciples came into a little ship, for they were not far from the land, but as it was two hundred cubits, dragging the net with fishies. 9. As soon then as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid thereon, and bread. 10. Jesus saith unto them, Bring of the fish which ye have now caught. 11. Simon Peter went up, and drew the net to the land full of great fishes, an hundred and fifty and three. And for all there were so many, yet was not the net broken. 12. Jesus saith unto them, Come and dine. And none of these disciples durst ask him, Who art thou? knowing that it was the Lord. 13. Jesus then cometh, and taketh bread, and giveth them, and fish likewise. 14. This is now the third time that Jesus showed himself to his disciples, after that he had risen from the dead. 15. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, Thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. 16. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. 17. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. When we love the good, we will do the will of the divine law. For it is the word of the Father who is our God. We cannot love God and disobey the law. And in this is the judgment. For he who loves God will do the will of God, while he who loves not the law will do the will of the flesh. 18. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, When thou was young, thou griddest thyself, and walkest where thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hand, and another shall grind thee, and carry thee whither thou wouldest not. 19. This spake he, signifying by what death he should glorify God. And when he had spoken this, 
He said unto Peter, Follow me. 20. Then Peter, turning about, seeth the disciple whom Jesus loved following him, which also leaned on his breast at supper, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? 21. Peter, seeing him, saith to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? 22. Jesus saith unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow me. If we love the Father, we will do his will. We will do his works, for we must follow him. To follow him means that we must follow him in his works. We must do the works that he does. It does not concern us what any other may do. Our duty is to follow the guidance that is for ourselves and to see to it that we are justified in our works. We are responsible only for ourselves. We must do our duty to ourselves and to others, and it is not given unto us to judge another since we cannot know the heart of no man. 33. Then this went saying abroad among the brethren, that that disciple should not die. Yet Jesus said not unto him, he shall not die. But if I will that, he will tarry till I come. What is that to thee? 24. This is the disciple which testifieth of these things and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. 25. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, the which, if they were to be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.